Hey guys, welcome to this video and today we are going to set up a video specified page. It's going to be pretty simple. We're not going to do all the things in the, in this video, but I will just give you kind of like an idea that what's going to happen and how we're going to go around th doing things. So in the last video we set up few set time off stuff like that few you know over delay and that was pretty good according to me I mean not the bad thing that I not the worst thing that we did okay we are having a breakpoint sorry it's accidentally clicked randomly here and there so what do we do now we need to make a dynamic route here so we're just going to basically if someone goes to slash our video ID we have to show them something that whatever we want to show them okay and what do we want to show them is basically going to be uh, maybe we will just have slash our video ID in the URL and then it just shows show us the video and other uh, relative video stuff like that so we'll just make a folder because uh, a video specified page will have a quite quite a things okay, quite a lot of things we will have the we will have a few more things we'll have the index page and the index is going to be just the main page and uh, we will have a few other pages like the comment section we'll have the description section that we'll have the related videos things but well, that's all at the end of the concept we'll just say video ID so this is this, this is how we make dynamic routes and here I'm going to say index.js so if I go to anywhere like slash you know over your slash test here we should get test in the context of query all right I just I just have to say RFC and there are two ways of accessing this thing either the server sided way or just using the router say Import use router from next slash router, and here we can say constant router is going to be called to use router. And then we can say console the log router dot query maybe. Uh, I think we are doing the wrong thing, but let's give it a try. Okay, let me say router dot query, not exactly query. Constant ID is going to be this. So you can the log video ID. Okay, great. We need to say router dot query dot video ID. It's just like the old video ID, this test thing, right? And we will not be console logging like normally like this. We'll just console log it inside a use if use if we hope or something like that if we want to actually use it. So that's not gonna be an issue. We basically got the web video ID. Now, what about we wanna? What we wanna do with our video ID is up to us. Okay. server side rendering doesn't really make sense in, at this point because we're gonna be, you know, loading the video in chunks. So, chunky, chunky guy. Alrighty. So, what we're gonna do now? First of all, let me just think about this thing. We wanna get all the details of the video. So. I have the index of JS, I would say. Or well, the comment section, or have comments or JavaScript in the video section. Maybe here I have to set up a few things. First of all, I'll set up a div like that. The class name of 1 and 2. The class name of 
flex and flex call. So this is just going to you know have two sections. One is going to be for the video comment stuff like that on the left side, and another one is going to be probably over related videos on the right side. It's just going to be like you know we're just doing what YouTube did. We're not doing anything unique. We need something unique, do we? I don't know. This is an educational video, so I think we better keep up with what we are doing. Let's say index.jsx. They will say videos. Current video. Related video. Justify between probably there's not going to be space between, but I'm just saying, yeah. You guys keep your boundaries, you guys stay at the very end points. I'll get to see something like that. Oh, not actually column, this should be just flex row. Yep, that's what I expected to see. And that's what I exactly wanted to see. Maybe we can have a little bit of margin on the x-axis, a little bit like 5. Okay. Doesn't need, don't need that. And in the current video, we're going to have a few things. We're going to have, first of all, Last one is going to flex, flex column, and the first of all we'll be having our video. We'll say last the video. We're going to have a video like that. Source is going to be something we don't really much care about that thing right now. And let's see like that. What do we get? Nothing. Can I some load some video? Just like you know. For testing purposes. Okay, now I'm going to say controls are going to be there. I'm going to check all the things that we can do with the video thing or with the video. What do we say? Video estimal type would say constant video player. We'll go to global style. Video player is going to have a width of height of auto. Okay, that's what is it look what it looks like for now. Height better be auto or just nothing. We don't need to define the height anyway. Let us give it some video. Video link to load in the video. La 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 la. La 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 la. If we go back and say source is going to be this. Mozilla, I guess, is slash media like that.
it's going where interact examples dot mdn dot mozilla dot net slash media interactive examples examples So we're not going to have the height as auto, we're going to have the height as fixed something. Maybe something is a 500 pixels. Maybe 50 V8. Unless under the user want to go full screen, he can go full screen. But till that point, he doesn't want to go full screen. We don't want to show him anything else, okay? I'm going to set up this video in a minute, but I'm just checking what options do we have. You have download that option, okay? Auto picture, auto controls. Yeah, control list. We need the control list here. Let's just say control no download. You can manage the playback speed from here. Or even picture in picture. Then we are attributing is that whether to use cross to fetch. Relative videos cost and then can be reused in canvas. The auto credential, in other words, it's on the or origin HTTP. Got a cookie. Credential to the side. Disable picture in picture, I get it. Muted loop, ah, okay. Is interpreting into the browser about the author. What content is being loaded? Is being played. Metadata auto source width. The input buffer of script. Okay, let me just read this all and I will come back. <laughs> 